Good morning and welcome to our continuing series on homeopathy with our beloved Dr. Pachakaka. We are continuing with the uh, problems of the anus. Uh, shall we take up anal fissures? Sure. Good. How are they created? See, fissure is like a crack at the mucocutaneous junction. See, the rectal mucosa doesn't have cutaneous nerve supply. So, things are not painful. But because the, the skin gets involved in developing this fissure, it's very painful. Generally, the fissure is a classical crack. It can be either at 12 degree or 6 degree. The oh. anus, if you see in a clockwise mm -hmm. positions, mm -hmm. either 12 degree or 6 degree. And, and commonest is 6 degree mm. of uh, clock. And that is on the dorsal side. Yes, comes. yes. There are various causes. First thing is dryness. Dryness in the skin causes it. Then uh, even even the hard stool, sometimes some people develop a very hard initial stool and that bolus is so large that the anal sphincter has to open up widely and there the, the outlet develops a crack and which becomes very painful. And once the crack is developed with one initial hard large bolus of stool, then this crack doesn't allow consequent uh, time to again expand and because it is painful the stool recedes the person retracts mm. it because of pain and further the stool starts getting dried so it's like a vicious ah, yes. cycle and uh, the the fissure causes constipation and then constipation in turn aggravates the fissure widening and if it becomes a chronic fissure, then body develops a tag of skin to protect that that fissure should not progress further. To restrict that fissure to that conf confined to that outlet, body develops a tag of thick skin and that is called a sentinel pile. So that pile can be very thick if it is a chronic fissure and this can be a very painful situation. While passing stools, the person they will starts getting pain and that pain can continue even for whole day. Mm. And it's an agonizing pain. Now, conventionally, the surgeons go for fissurectomy. Means they, they remove everything and then put sutures. But what happens, the tendency doesn't go with that. Ah. So what we advise is the person should ensure that uh, should drink adequate uh, fluid so that the dryness doesn't come then at least for 2-3 weeks till the fissure is completely reversed we suggest the person to drink lot of water at the same time eat cellulose containing vegetables so that the stool the mechanical bolus is provided for the stool and stool doesn't get dry the stool should be very thin paste like how toothpaste we we mm -hmm. bring out from a very little opening mm -hmm. it negotiates smoothly that way even our stool should be able to negotiate without expanding the anus much mm -hmm. widely so without pain without any problem it comes out by even 50 percent opening of anal sphincter and therefore the, the fissure pain doesn't come and if this is continued say for 2-3 weeks and once the fissure is reversed completely that outlet gets good elasticity then the person never gets fissure. Mm. But, but best treatment is drink lot of water, eat uh, ample of uh, cellulose containing vegetables, fiber, fiber, fiber yes. and, and have regular bowel movement. So both ways. It, it never records. Wonderful. Thank you.